So, as requested, here's a video on um, database normalization for A-level. So, what's the point of normalization? So, it's, so, it's the process to come up with the best design for a relational database. The table should be organized such that no data is unnecessarily duplicated. Data should be consistent, customer's address should be the same in all tables, and it can allow for complex queries. So, first normal form, data in every field must be atomic meaning that it cannot be split down into further uh, smaller pieces. No field should repeat and every record has a primary key. So as you can see in this table, address can be split down into further sections, name can be split down into first name, surname, and the subject fields are um, repeating, which means that this is not first normal form. So to fix this issue, we basically so as this is basically what I just said, and um, to fix this, we basically create a separate, firstly, we create a primary key, which is student ID. Then as you see, the full name and surname are split from here. And the address is also split further down as well. So this is first normal form. Second normal form, first mark to get right is always to say that it has to meet all the requirements of first normal form. It should contain no partial dependencies, meaning that every field must only depend on only on all of the primary key. This applies to tables with composite keys. Every field is not a part of a composite key should depend on all parts of the composite key. This is not the case as the student's name and address can be um, determined from purely the student ID, regardless of the subject. In this table, student ID and subject are composite keys, which is basically saying that the name part is dependent on the student ID, but the name doesn't really depend on the, student, uh, the subject. So this is something that we need to fix. And the way that we fix it is basically we introduce a new table, which is only to do with students. And we also create a takes so that there's no repeating data. And we also create a subject table with all the subjects and uh, related things in one table. Now our database still meets all the rules of 1NF plus every field in each table depends only on the each primary key. And then we come on to third normal form, which means the database must meet all the requirements of 2NF. No field must depend on any of uh, the field other than the primary key. It should not be possible to tell what the value of the field is by looking at any other uh, any other field other than the primary key. This is not the case in our subject table as it is dependent uh, as it's possible to determine the name of the teacher from the teacher code. As you can see, teacher and teacher code are linked and it has no um, it doesn't really depend on on this primary key. So to fix this we basically add a new table which is teachers which we have a teacher code and teachers and we have the teacher code in the subject so that we can link these two tables together. So here's a past paper exam question. Pause the video and have a go. Then we'll go through the answers. So state why the table in figure 5.1 is not a uh, third normal form. Well, in third normal form, every field must depend on the primary key. This is not the case here as branch name depends on sort code, the question tells us. So sort code identifies the bank branch, so which means that bank branch depends on sort code. This is the reason why um, it's not in third normal form and explain how the database can be put into third normal form. So if you remember from, from this example, we basically created a separate table for teachers and teacher code and we referenced it in the subject uh, table. So that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to remove branch name and we're going to create a new um, a table which has sort code and branch name into it. And yeah, make, uh, uh, so remove branch name from customers, leave sort code as a primary key, remove sort code and branch name from customers and add a primary key value from branch as a foreign key. So yeah, hopefully this video makes sense and I'll see you in the next one.